Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest where we are here with Maple for our Ultra Iron Wolf series and we gotta check to make sure everything's fine. Is everything fine? Oh, we're still zoomed very in. Holy cow. Okay. The territory looks okay. I smell bear somewhere. Is that... Uh-oh. Alright, we're gonna investigate this. We're gonna check this out. Are we good? I am afraid there is going to be bear. I don't know where the smell is coming from now, though. Alright, I think we might be okay. Possibly. Let's be kind of cautious still. But yeah, welcome back. We are probably going to move rendezvous sites, not going to lie. The pups are at, well, almost 17 pounds, so they are getting bigger. And we just had the most chaotic journey to the rendezvous site that we've had in a while. Now, I kind of do want to move them towards this one, but I also kind of want to steal some more territory. So I think we're going to run up in this direction towards this hex to kind of reclaim. In fact, maybe, maybe first things first, we'll reclaim some of the territory we're starting to lose. So let's wo uh, let's uh, not woof the puppies. Let's squeak the puppies into the open here. And then we'll play with them a little bit, make sure we get that up. Hope seems to like staying back with them, which is honestly fine by me now that we're able to, uh, now that we're more able to, to find food. Oh my goodness, Badger really does live up to his name too with that stripe. That was what a lot of you guys pointed out. And uh, Magpie too. All of them, I think all of them do suit their names quite well. Oh, honestly, Badger kind of looks like Hope, which is interesting because Hope is actually not his biological dad. All right, let's go back in the grass. We don't want to get too, too, um, too comfy just yet. We still want to move after all. And I think we will, um, we're going to try and, and mark some of this, uh, outer territory. I don't know how far we'll get, but if hope stays with the pups, hopefully we'll get pretty far. I think he is staying back with them. All right. So let's do that. We'll see if we can find some food along the way because they are a little bit hungry. They're the, in the 50%. All of them actually are. So if we could find something to bring back for them, that would be good. But I think we're kind of settling into a rhythm with uh, with Maple going out and doing a lot of the <laughs> a lot of the hunting and stuff. Ooh, especially now that we've got... Oh, those are beavers. I was like, what in the heck? I forgot this was the beaver trail. Okay, somewhere around here there is a mother with a calf or a fawn, depending on which species... I don't know. I don't see her. We're going to take a look around, though. Oh, there's the mother. So this is a mule deer. This is one we probably might want to eat ourselves if we find it. Well, there's not a lot of, um... There's not actually a lot of grass around here. I wonder if she hit it across the river. It's possible if there's some that's within range that she could have... It's just going to be really hard to find over here. No, I don't see which uh, grass patch she could be hiding her baby in, so I think we're going to move on and not waste any more time on this. We're just going to go mark some territory. Oh, there's one. I don't know what this is. I think it's a mule deer again. Yes. All right. Well, we found one. We'll go ahead and we'll have Maple eat this one this time. Because ideally we'll find one that's a little closer to home and then bring it back. And ideally we'll still get to move the pups this episode. I don't know for sure, but hopefully. Oh, Maple's pretty full on food, so we should be okay. Oh, found another baby here. Uh, we'll go ahead and bring this back to our babies, because all we really have to do is mark this territory, and then we'll be ready to head back. We do have a little bit of uh, energy left, so we might try and move down to that other rendezvous site if we can. Uh, we'll have to see. I'm not 100% sure if it'll be worth it or not. Here we are. It looks like not all the puppies are out of the grass. I think it's Badger who is. Oh my goodness, this is like the really whiny part of the stream and we're running right through it. Now... Um... I'm gonna do something a little bit counterintuitive. I'm actually gonna give the uh, fawn here to Hope. And we'll woof these guys back in the grass for a minute because Maple has very full food and she's full on health. So I want Hope to be able to eat and get his food up and he should be up to, he's up to 71 at least now. So let's call these guys back out into the open again. There's an eagle in the distance, but these guys shouldn't be, I think they're too big to be carried now. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll feed these guys just normally by regurgitating. Oh, where are they going? Guys, where are you going? 
Was there some left of it, I guess? Oh, there probably was. Oh, Hope! I guess he didn't finish it. Oh, dear. Okay, well, Magpie has. Or can. It, it'll work out. It'll be fine. But, um... Yeah, it's, it's alright. As long as he gets some. He's pretty... He did try to eat before the puppies could that once, but overall he seemed pretty considerate of them. So as long as we're able to feed them like this, I think it'll be fine. And then everybody should stay full on food. I just don't want Hope to starve either. We have to be kind of cautious of that. And provided that everything looks good, I think what we'll do is we'll actually head down to this rendezvous site here today. Um, I think. Let's just make sure they're all full on food, but we've got a little time left. I think we should be able to make it. How tired are... Oh, some of them are tired. Okay, maybe we'll actually do that the next day then. I think it'll be better to spend one more night here and then move out come morning. Wait, what? Hold on. Oh, bad, 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 bad. I don't even see where the bear is. I don't see where the bear is, which is extremely dangerous. Uh, can I smell the bear? Can I smell the bear? I cannot smell the bear, so the bear is probably coming from the other direction. Guys, stay in the, stay in the grass, please. Uh, this is, oh man, I think this is especially scary for Maple. First of all, knowing that a bear, oh, there it is, 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 there it is. Knowing that a bear could end up, um, could end up, uh, and could end up taking her down in one hit, but it was actually a bear that, uh, that ended up killing Branch as well. Oh, Hope, please be careful. Please be careful. Oh boy. Hope, are you good? The bear is... Oh my goodness, he dodged, he dodged, he dodged, oh, not great, not great. All right, we are going to try and woof as well a couple more times just to make sure the puppies stay in the grass, hopefully, hopefully, because if they don't, I'm not 100% sure we'll be able to rescue them. Hope, watch out, oh my goodness, Hope, no, don't do this again, not again, no, oh, we can't do much about it, Hope, oh no, oh no. No, not again. Not again. Please do not. No, we need this bear gone. We need this bear gone. We need this bear gone immediately. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Not great. Not great. Is it leaving? Please leave. Please leave. Oh my goodness. Hope, are you okay? Oh my gosh. No, it's coming back. It's coming back. Leave. 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 Go all the way. All the way gone. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hope, are you okay? Oh my gosh, he took a lot of hits there. Holy cow. Well, oh man. That's, uh, that was a little dramatic, not gonna lie. Okay, we need to find some food because we need to make sure that hope is very full on it before we, um, before we, before we go uh, back to sleep. So we're gonna, we're gonna put this plan on pause for just a slight bit. How's the territory looking? Whoa, we're very zoomed in. We're gonna just reinforce some territory on the way. And oh my goodness. Um, yeah, we're gonna try and find something to bring back for him to eat. Okay, this is perfect. Somewhere around here, there is a mother something or another. And if we can find that and bring back food for Hope, then the puppies are all right. Yeah, the puppies should be fine. Badger's a little lower than the others, but I think he'll still be okay for us to sleep the night. Um, if we find a little extra, we can always bring it back for the puppies too. But, oh, no. Where is the mother? Is that? No. Somewhere over here. We'll sniff around and see. Oh, there I see. I think that's a mule deer mom. And there's a moose, apparently. Uh, the reason I'm catching hares, too, is because if we get Maple's health up a little bit, we can also have her just feed the puppies again by regurgitating. So as long as we can do that, we should be all right. I don't think it'll be too terribly difficult to keep them fed for now. Oh, there's the baby. Let's go ahead and grab it, and we will just bring this back. I think we should be good. Oh, there's the mother. Well, this should be enough for Hope for now. At least so that way, I just wanted to make sure that while we sleep, he regains health because that is a scary amount of HP to be on. Um, and Maple is well aware of that. Oh, um, let's see if we can snag that hair actually, just to, um, just to make sure. There we go. We can get it right. Yes, we got it. 
All right, now we'll have a little extra food and hopefully enough to feed the puppies. There's a hair right here, actually. Well, that works out because we can just bring this to the puppies and let them eat this instead. All right, I'm going to try to prevent... Okay, did Hope actually eat the mule deer baby? I think he did, right? Yeah, it looks like it's gone now. How is his food? He's up to 89%, so he should heal. Uh, Badger, you're the one who needs food. Oh my goodness. No, 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 no. Did you guys... They, they've eaten, like, almost the whole thing. And Badger, who was the one who needed food, didn't get any. Did Hope just feed him? No. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna go out, find one more hair, and then we're going to, uh, we're gonna go to sleep again. There should be one, hopefully, around here. Yeah, this is not too far, unless that was the one that we killed. But I don't think it is. It seems like it's going in a different direction. Nope, never mind. I think that was, it looks like it went over here. Here we go. This should be fine. I'm so thankful the puppies can eat the food whole now, because I genuinely think that was one of the biggest problems that we had was that not we had to not only get Maple's food up for herself, but we couldn't feed the puppies unless either her food or branches was high enough. So I didn't realize it was going to be so pivotal, but honestly, I think it's better to wait a day without hunting if the elk herds are in an optimal place and the puppy or are not in an optimal place and the puppies have at least some food uh because otherwise we end up in a situation like what we had and that was just so much worse so i think it's better to wait and i didn't realize that was going to be the case river you're you're being a hog <laughs> let badger eat let badger eat there we go badger please eat your food there we go but yeah, so I think genuinely that was one of the biggest issues we had was I didn't realize how much that was going to be a problem because then we got jumped by stranger wolves. Okay, is everybody, everybody's up to a reasonable amount. It's fine. Go back in the grass. Last thing I want is stranger wolves jumping us now. All right, Dawn is here. I want the puppies to stay for a minute while we sniff around. Yep, that's exactly what I was afraid of. All right, Hope is not on full health. This will be fine, I'm sure. Has he found where they are? <laughs> I I hope he has. Or I hope that they don't... Please only be like one. If we could just get one stranger wolf, that would not be so bad. All right, get out. Yep, one stranger wolf isn't terrible. Hope looks like he's ready. Oh, good, okay. Let's do a howl. Is our territory hecked because of them? It could be. We will see this prospect peak. It's a little bit low, yeah. Let's let's jump across the stream here. We'll go mark this one. Because, yep, that's exactly where he came through. I wonder if he claimed over our scent post. But, yeah, what I was saying earlier is... Um, is this the right way? This is... Yeah, what I was saying before this happened is... I think that was the problem we ran into, is it would have been better to let the pups go hungry first and then still had the health to deal with it because then we ran into them continuing to go hungry and not having the health to be able to hunt anything and then we couldn't get maple's hunger up enough to feed them and that was how we lost some of our puppies so as much as that's a counterintuitive lesson it was a good lesson to learn just an awful way to do it but I think we're actually going to pack up and move today and uh, bring these guys right across the hill to another rendezvous site so, although it does mean crossing the creek, but I think we can do that up here and it shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, this will be fine, I think. Let's go ahead. We will uh, call these guys back out of the grass and we will move rendezvous sites just because that one's a little bit more open, a little bit easier to see predators. And I kind of like that one more. Oops, that's not the right key. We want... They're pretty... Pretty... Um, Yeah, we'll move again. They're pretty... Um. They, they are getting pretty big, too, so we probably won't have to wait that long. All right, let's have these guys go over here. And then we're going to try to cross just kind of this sandbar area, I think. If everybody comes right across over here, they should be able to run it pretty easily. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. Oh, Badger. Badger's good. Okay. I was going to say... If we get stuck there, it won't be good. But I think we're all right. The other rendezvous site is just right down there. That is a mule deer, so I don't have to worry too much about that. But I just think this will be a little easier because it's a little flatter, a little more open, and you can see what's coming. We are right across from beavers, actually. But, uh, man, this would be a really good one. This was where the Beaver Creek pack should have been. Oh, my goodness. 
but yeah, I think this is, this will still be a good rendezvous site to be at. All right, we just got to wait for them to get here. They stopped to howl because hope is howling. Oh my goodness, guys, come on, we got to get moving. Uh, but yeah, you can see it's much easier to see if something's coming. You can see across the river, you can see there's very, there's much fewer hills than there is. Okay, guys, guys, come on, come on, stop messing around. We got to go. There we go. I think they got a little bit confused as to where to go when Hope howled. So yeah, let's go this way. We'll have them come down here. And this will be our rendezvous site and we'll just call it River uh, River Bend, I think, because that's exactly what this is. <laughs> it's the River Bend. And apparently somewhere around here there's the mule deer. I don't know if that means that she has a cat or not a calf, a fawn or not. But let's get them all to come over here or we'll woof them in the grass, I think. And they should go, hopefully. We might have to encourage Magpie in the right direction. She's going to go to one of the pe uh, one of the patches of grass outside of the rendezvous site if we're not careful. So let's put her here. And that should be fine. This should be good. We're just going to go then and do a little bit more territory marking. We'll try and get the one up here and the one down there, I think. Because those look like we can pick them off. And then see if we can get some more to eat along the way. Whoop. There is a baby here. I think it's a mule deer still, yeah. So let's actually bring this back since we're so close because I do want, we want Badger to eat. We also want Hope to eat, but hopefully we'll find something else we can bring back for him. Uh, but I just want to make sure that Badger stays full and the other puppies too. And if anything's left over, we can give it to Hope. Um, but that'll be, that's important. I think just, just we really want to watch them getting low on food because that's not something that's easy to deal with once it starts to happen. If, for whatever reason, we can't find food right away. And we saw how fast on accurate it drops once they actually hit zero. So we just don't want to mess with that. I think under 10%. River, please, let your brother eat. Magpie, you two. You guys are like full-on food. Badger, you're too polite. Badger, go eat food, please. Magpie, let your brother eat. There we go. There we go. Maple's just hauling the girls off. <laughs> is Badger the smallest? No, Badger's the biggest. I mean, I guess that's maybe why, but he's just... Goodness, sir. You're, you're hungry. This is not the time to be a gentleman. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right. Is he eating enough food? He's still not full. Oh, my goodness. Magpie, let your brother eat. Oh my goodness, and he's leaving. He's just leaving. Badger, come back and eat food, please. Come back and eat food, please. There we go. He keeps getting bullied by his sister. <laughs> I'm not sure if he's getting bullied or if he's letting them push him around so that they, he can be polite, because he's always kind of been like this. So, oh my word. I wonder if maybe he's more cautious and they're a little bit more bold, perhaps. We'll see. Oh, that's hunger. I was like, why are two of them at 101 at 97? But that's what it is. Okay. Let's go back in the grass. Whatever's left of this, which may be nothing actually. Oh, there is a little bit. We're going to actually bring this over to Hope so that he can get his food up just a little bit because he is still down on uh, health. So it's most important out of anyone, uh, out of either of the adults, that he be the one to eat. Are you going to eat that? He should, right? He's thinking about it. Nope, he's not going to. All right, fine. If you're not going to eat it, I will. All right. Well, we'll see. I guess I'll bring... Well, no, I'm going to just leave it right in front of his face, and hopefully he will. <laughs> there we go. Are you going to eat? Are you seriously that determined not to? Okay, fine. I'll eat it then. We'll bring back something else. Oh, there is a baby here, apparently. I think it's an elk calf, too. No, it's mule deer. Okay. Well, it's still good. We can still bring that back to Hope, and then... um. Right up here is the last territory I went down this time first. So if we mark this one, I think we can probably just sneak right in and uh, mark it really quickly and then run. <laughs> and hopefully not get jumped by stranger wolves if we do that. I think we should be fine, but we just got to be quick. Oh, okay, we got it. I was a little worried that took longer than I thought it was going to, but we did get it. I don't think there's any stranger wolves coming to take us out. So we should be fine. We'll just do a couple more howls just to boost it up a little bit more and make sure we're going to be good. And then I think we're ready to move out and uh, bring this back to Hope at the rendezvous site. 
All right, here we are. It is interesting. It seems like Hope often leaves the pups in the grass. He doesn't necessarily always invite them to uh, to come sit out in the open with him. Either that or they're just tired and wanting to stay there. But whatever the case may be, we're going to give this to him. Hopefully he actually eats it. And we will... No, 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 guys. Let's stay in the grass for a minute here while, uh, while Hope eats. There we go. He's going to actually eat this time. And uh, yeah, all in all... Things went more smoothly this time. I hope that doesn't mean they're about to not. I mean, I guess we did have a very tense bear attack, but even that worked out cautiously, dare I say it, and the end of the line is in sight. We're pretty close to... All, all the pups are almost or at least 18 pounds, so they're getting pretty close to being ready to be a little bit older and a little bit more resilient, and when we will decide that this litter has officially concluded but we are going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here for today because it is getting to be about that time again so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed the episode don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you guys next time but until then this is jay over and out